lawyer in London. One day he was appointed as the chairman of the Boundary Commission. He came to India on July 8, 1947, just 36, 37 days before independence. He came to India. That was his first visit in India. He was having no idea about Indian culture, ethos, systems. Everything was very new to him. He also said that I have not seen map of India before coming to this place. But his report was released. The report was released, submitted first in August 12th, after 36 days. And it was released on August 70, 17, 1947, two days after independence. It means what? On 15th August, nobody knew. People were speculating. Some people might have some idea about the whole thing, but the common persons were confused where to go, how to go, what would we do? It could have been easily avoided. But why it happened? But reality is nobody stood up. India Independence Act 1947 came into force on July 15, 1947. We all know. Winston Churchill, who was the prime minister, but he lost election after Second World War. And he became the leader of opposition in British Parliament. When this bill came, bill came for discussion in British Parliament, actually uh, Churchill was against granting freedom to India from the very beginning. He was deadly against India and Indians. And he said, which uh, Ram Madhavji has rightly quoted, Mr. Clement Attlee, Indians are incapable of ruling themselves. Power will go into the hands of rascals, rogues, and freebooters. The blood of these hungry millions will be on your head. Why do you want to take this? He further said, these Indians do not understand even D of democracy. If you give power to them, there will be chaos in the whole system. Who will be responsible? You will be responsible, Mr. Italy. But after the debate and uh, because Italy government was for uh, the independence due to many reasons, we got independence. But, uh, but after 75 years of independence, now we can confidently say Mr. Winston Churchill, you were wrong on that day. India is the largest and deepest democracy of the world. We not only practice, we not only practice democracy, but we also inspire and ignite many other countries to practice democracy. We have proved you wrong, Mr. Churchill. But the partition had not only created two countries, but also two enemies. Cyril Ratcliffe later said in London, I had no alternative. I had no alternative. The time, I, time at my disposal was so short that I could not do a better job. Given the same proposal, I would do the same thing. However, if I had two or three years, I might have improved on what I did. I might have improved on what I did. It means what? He wanted two to three years. But the job was completed in 36 days. We easily can understand now after 75 years of independence, what could have been better. While nobody wanted partition of India, nobody was there to stand up against it when the real movement came. Many people were against partition. Many have written books also. Many had expressed their views prior to partition. But when real movement came, nobody stood up. Why? After 75 years of independence, this why should be discussed on academic platforms, universities, and higher education institutions. I am extremely thankful to uh, my friend Ram Madhavji to write a book on this subject. That Indian universities, now we should discuss this. Why? Some, many, many questions are unanswered or because why they are important. 
Why they are important? Because we don't want to repeat those mistakes. Ram Madhavji has indicated to a very intriguing fact that in 1905, when the partition of Bengal was announced by British Raj, an All India movement under the leadership of Lal Bal Pal vigorously put resistance and ultimately, ultimately forced the government after six years in, in 1911, the decision was withdrawn. But when Jinnah took a call for a partition, the whole national leadership failed to prevent it. They did not even voice, there was no, articles were also not written. It means what slowly and steadily something had happened. But actually what was the position of Jinnah? This is very important, we have to understand this, what, what was the position of Jinnah? Muslim League has miserably lost in Muslim constituencies in the, provis in the, provis in the provincial elections of 1937. Because Government of India Act 1935 came in force in 1937 and first these provincial elections took place and Muslim League was defeated in Punjab and Bengal. They just got 4.8% of the vote. Union in, unions party in Punjab and Krishak Praja party in Bengal. Both Muslim parties were victorious, but they were not party to the whole thing. They were not invited for any discussion. They were not invited for any discussions. Why Jinnah became the sole proprietor of Muslim identity and voice. This why, is, this why is also to be discussed now after 75 years of Indian independence. Muhammad Iqbal, when, when you know this defeat came, this Iqbal suggested Jinnah to change now, please change the epicenter. Because now your focus is, he said, constitutional safeguards for Muslims. And our author has beautifully explained this, that now please change this constitutional safeguard for Muslim to Cultural incompatibility with Hindus. Cultural incompatibility with Hindus. We, we, don't want to, uh, we don't want to live with Hindus. Because constitutional safeguard, because they just lost this election, they were not having any ethical and moral authority in the Muslim uh, society also. He advised Jinnah to appeal that please appeal to the Muslims that established law of Islam. This Muhammad Iqbal, jisne kya likha tha, sare jahan se achcha hindostha humara, hum bul bulay hain iski, ye gul sita humara. Aisa hi tha na? Yunan mishra rom sa mit gaye, jahan se parab tak hai baaki namo nisha humara, kuch baat hai ke hasti mitti nahi humari, sadiyo raha hai dushman, dhore zama humara. Itni achchi baat likhi, maani nahi, kari nahi. And he became the architect of Pakistan. To ye gana humko kyun gana chahiye? ये हमको क्यों गाना चाहिए हम 15 अगस्त पे इसको गाते हैं लिखने वाले ने पार्टीशन कराया इसको हमको क्यों गाना चाहिए इसको नेगेटिव लिस्ट में क्यों नहीं डालना चाहिए व्हाई सोचने की जरूरत है कोई जरूरत नहीं इसको गाने की क्या जरूरत है और बहुत हमारे राइटर्स हैं पोएट्स हैं आज नए-नए हैं बहुत अच्छा लिख देंगे इससे अच्छा भी लिख देंगे सोचने की बात है सो आई वुड लाइक टू कांग्रेचुलेट राम माधव जी फॉर दिस बुक टू अंडरस्टैंड द टाइम एंड टाइमिंग्स ऑफ पार्टीशन but what now? Past is past. It has happened. What happened? Happened. What happened? Happened. What are the lessons for us? Government of India, that's why Government of India has decided and declared August 14 as Partition Horror Remembrance Day. Kuch log sochte honge ki kyun kar rahe hain? ko ughaadne ki kya zarurat hai unnecessary? Kya zarurat hai isko discuss ke nisko zarurat hai? Because we don't want to repeat those mistakes now. We don't want to repeat those mistakes now. We have to make India a powerful, prosperous and progressive nation. But we have to tell our generations that how did this happen? That's why we don't want to tell us that we don't want to do anything else. That we don't want to do anything else. Now, if someone is calling this, the whole country will be standing in front of this country. Maybe this is Ram Madhav Ji's writing that the whole country will be standing up and it will not be possible. Now you can't do it. 
something which had happened in 1947 now it is not possible in india this new india will not tolerate such nonsense and nuisance for this we have to apne bachcho ko batana hai unke bachcho ko batana hai ki kaise hua tha us samay aur aage na ho ye bahut bahut zaruri hai ki ye durghatna aage na ho jaye kitab iski chinta karti hai that's why my dear friends always remember partition was not merely a loss of territory but vivisection of our motherland we should always remember this pakistan ka banna hamare sath hi nahi bura hua sansar ke sath bhi bura hua ye na banta to i terrorism itna nahi hota ye na banta ye na banta to aaj itne nirdosh logon ki jo dusri dusri durghatnaon mein jaan jati hai wo na jati aisa bahut kuch na hota ye na banta to par chaliye ban gaya अब आफ्टर 75 फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस इट्स आर ड्यूटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू क्रिएट दैट एनवायरमेंट वी आर नो जिन्ना नो जिन्ना कैन हैव करेज टू से सच थिंग्स बिकॉज ही शुड बी स्केयर्ड एंड वरिड दैट इफ आई से समथिंग अगेंस्ट इंडिया द होल इंडिया विल स्टॉट ऑफ सो दिस वाई वी शुड डिस्कस डिबेट इन अवर अवर यूनिवर्सिटी एनवायरमेंट नॉट ओनली पोलिटिकल साइंटिस्ट बट वी ऑल आर सन एंड डॉटर्स ऑफ दिस ग्रेट नेशन इट इज आर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ आर कंट्री इफ वी विल नॉट डू इट हु विल डू इट दैट्स वाई दिस बुक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मस्ट रीड फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज रीड दिस बुक अंडरस्टैंड द द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड विच विच हैव बीन एक्सप्लेन इन अ वेरी यू नो डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वे Uh, again i would like to thank ram madhav ji for such a wonderful book thank you very much